Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about solar PV battery powered electric vehicle. So this is a simulation model of uh, solar PV battery powered electric vehicle. That electric vehicle uh, consists of uh, the local load, the local load of the electrical vehicle is like a lamp load or a AC load. Okay. And then uh, we have another load, nothing but the BLDC motor drive. Okay, so the BLDC motor drive used to drive that uh, transmission, right? So drive the electric vehicle. Okay, so it consists of uh, voltage source inverter, uh, BLDC motor, and then uh, we have closed loop speed control, right? Here we are going to measure the actual speed of the BLDC motor and it is going to be compared with the, the drive cycle command and then it is going to be processed via PA controller so the PA controller will be generated the duty cycle and it is going to be processed via PDLM generator ok so the output of this PDLM generator is going to be combined with the getting pulse of the OVT source inverter based upon the Hall sensor output of the BLTC motor and finally the the gating pulse and the pulse from the BWM generator will be combined by using and gate and finally it going to be given to that uh, voltage source inverter to control the uh, power of the BLTC motor or control the speed of the BLTC motor ok and then here we have uh, 3 Newton meter load right so this 3 Newton meter load always present in the system ok because uh, electric vehicle having uh, full load in it uh, uh, full load always ok so we have to mention that we have to protect that concept so here we are making uh, 3 Newton meter so that 3 Newton meter always present in the electric vehicle that will be in this motor drive ok and then and this BLD motor drive is going to be uh, powered from the uh, solar PV system and the battery energy storage system. Okay, so here we are using a 2000 watts uh, PV panel, so single panel having 250 watts. And then, so nowadays you can see that uh, there are flexible PV panel available in the market, so we can use that kind of PV panel in order to generate 2000 watts power from the uh, source of sunlight. Okay, so here we use that uh, 2000 watts PV panel, and uh, here we consider eight panel. The eight panel will be connected in series. Okay, so. Here you can see that the voltage at the maximum power point for the each panel will be 30.7 and current at maximum power point is 8.15 amps. Okay, so single panel will supply maximum 250 watts, so 8 panel in series, so it can supply maximum of uh, 2000 watts. Okay, and then it going to be connected to the common DC bus, so this is known as common DC bus. So here I, we are going to maintain the voltage at around 400 volt. Okay, so here uh, we will get around 245 volt. Here we need 400, so we have used boost converter here, and then this boost converter going to be controlled by means of a MBPT algorithm. Okay, so here why we are using MBPT algorithm means because uh, the irradiation temperature going to be uh, vary uh, time to time. Okay, so if irradiation temperature going to be vary means the the power of peak power of the PE panel also will be varying, so that can be uh, seen in that uh, PVIV catasix. So here you can see that. So here we have the 25 degree Celsius temperature in the PV cell, and here we are varying the irradiation right from 1800, 600, 400, and also you can see that the peak point of the PE panel. For different irradiation condition going to be changed so we need to extract this uh, peak point in order to get the maximum power from the PV array so so for the purpose only we are using MBPT algorithm so here we are using incremental conductance MBPT 
so it will be received two inputs one is PV voltage and current so the PV voltage and current going to be processed via the incremental conductance and VPD so this is a code for incremental conductance and VPD so you can check my youtube channel right so already I explained about incremental conductance and VPD so you will see the uh, more uh, elaborate detail on that uh, youtube video so kindly check my youtube channel about incremental conductance and VPD and now So output of this single model conductance MVPT nothing but due to C. Okay, so based upon voltage and current, the single model conductance MVPT will be uh, adjust the duty cycle. So this duty cycle will be passed as via uh, PD volume generator. Okay, this PD volume generator generates the pulse. This pulse will be controlled this IGPT of IGPT of this uh, boost converter in order to extract the maximum power as well as boost the voltage from 245 volt to 400 volt and here we are using battery storage okay the battery storage will be connected to the dc bus via this bidirectional converter so because uh, battery can be act as a source as well as load okay so if excess power only in the pv so then it will be sent to the uh, battery and uh, that mean uh, whatever power uh, that mean pv having excess power that mean more than load right then the excess power will be given to battery to charge okay uh, when uh, pv is not uh, have enough power to supply the load means so during that time the battery will be supply that uh, uh, load of a electric vehicle okay so for that we have this bidirectional converter so it will be in both direction okay so it can take power from the solar pv or it can supply the power to the uh, dc bus so this uh, bidirectional converter will be controlled by means of voltage control method so here we are going to measure the dc bus voltage and it going to be compared with the reference voltage and it going to be processed via pa controller and then it going to be processed via pdl generator so it will be generated the pdl impulse for this uh, bidirectional converter not to maintain the dc bus voltage constant and also it will be uh, change the direction of current flow according with the power balance in the system okay and here you can see that here we are measuring the pv voltage current and power and here we are measuring uh, dc bus voltage and the electric vehicle input current and the input power and here we are measuring uh, battery voltage current and power and then here we are measuring the source of the battery and here we are created the drive cycle rate uh, from 0 to 1.5 second the speed of the build is motor will be increased from 0 to 2000 rpm uh, from 1.5 to 3.5 right the speed of the build is motor maintained at 2000 rpm right constant speed operation and then from 3.5 to 5 second the speed will be decreased from 2000 to 0 so 0 to 1.5 1.5 second known as acceleration mode 1.5 to 3.5 known as a constant speed operation of the electric vehicle and 3.5 to 5 seconds known as the deceleration mode of uh, de deceleration operation of the de electric vehicle okay so for that we created the de reference speed command like that okay so here you can measure the uh, stator current and the emf and then emf of the de build this motor and then here you can measure the speed of the build dc motor and here you can measure the electromagnetic torque of the build dc motor okay and then here we create that uh, varying irritation condition scenario okay so we have to investigate the, the system performance with the varying irradiation because during a uh, driving right the solar radiation right will be very right so in order to project that detail so here we vary the radiation and then you have to check the, the performances of the system right like uh, pv voltage current power as well as battery charging discharging and then uh, and we have to see the performance of the electric vehicle okay so for that we create this scenario so now i'm going to submit this model and then you have to see the result of the solar pv powered electric vehicle results
So here you can see that uh, PV power is initially the irradiation is 1000 after that comes to uh, 800 right. So here you can see that so 1800, 500, 300 and then 100 for every one second right. So initially the PV power uh, irradiation is 1000 watts per meter square. So, for 1000 watts per meter square, PV is generating uh, 2000 watts, okay. And then, so this here you can see the DC bus voltage maintained at 400, and then this is the power of the electric vehicle, right? Input power of the electric vehicle. So, there is excess power uh, in the uh, PV, so that's why battery charging mode, okay. So, when uh, irradiation change to 800, right, uh, it generated around uh, only 1700 or 600 watts okay so during that time uh, uh, we need uh, some excess power that mean we need a uh, power from the source right so because of that battery going for a discharging mode so here you can see that battery power is positive so battery power is negative means uh, charging mode battery power is positive means uh, uh, discharging mode so here you can see that battery is uh, uh, discharging now because uh, we need to supply power to the load so that's why uh, battery supplying power now okay so that can be seen here right so initially it going for charging mode after this uh, once again right uh, we need uh, we need to supply the load uh, that means electric vehicle power right so that's why battery is discharging okay and here you can see that as per the speed command right speed will be rises from 0 to 2000 rpm and then it will be it maintain at 2000 rpm so from 0 to 1.5 second known as acceleration mode from 1.5 to 3.5 second known as a constant speed operation mode and then 3.5 to 5 second it going by deceleration mode and then here you can see that the, 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 the Electromagnetic torque of the machine is maintained is around the uh, 3 Newton meter and then this is stator current and the EMF. So the EMF um, electromotive force will be going to be very according with the, the speed of the BLDC motor. So now we can see that uh, the PV power is very less so the battery is trying to supply the power to the load not to make a power balance between source and the load. Okay. So here you can see that this is uh, the power input power of the electric vehicle. Okay, so because electric vehicle consists of uh, uh, BLDC motor as well as uh, local lamp and uh, some other loads. Okay, so this is the input power of the electric vehicle, and then so here you can see that the speed variation, speed control of BLDC motor. Okay, so uh, as per our full speed command, so it will be controlled very effectively. Okay, and also here you can see that. So, this is a SOC charging discharging characteristics of the battery. Okay. So, this is a result of uh, solar PV powered uh, electric vehicle. So, thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.